Hi guys, my name is Jordan and I work as a freelance filmmaker and video editor and today I thought I'd do a quick two minute tutorial and uh, show you guys just how to get rid of cache data. I talked about it in a video a while back but didn't really go into detail about it. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into Premiere and I'll show you the first out of two different ways that you can do it. So this is going to be, uh, this first one is going to be applicable to both Mac and PC and it's for uh, project specific in Premiere so uh, it's not just a blanket sweep across your computer. Uh, so first step, you're going to go to edit. You're going to go to preferences and then you're going to go down to media and then over here in the uh, media cache database section you're going to go to this little uh, box that says clean and you're going to click that here and that's going to honestly that's that's how easy it is just cleaning out your cache data depending on how much uh, you have uh, stored up here and how long you've been working on this project uh, you, you might have a couple gigs worth of stuff there so yeah short and simple that's method number one that works for both Mac and PC nothing different there uh, then the second option that I'm going to show you is uh, going to be different for both Mac and PC and I'll show you guys each specifically uh, those and we're going to start with PC. Uh, so you're actually going to have to go into your uh, files a little bit here in order to do this. So let's minimize uh, Premiere here. Let's go to your C drive and then we'll go to whoever you are, users, your name. You're going to go to app data. Then uh, depending on uh, if you're using Premiere or After Effects, uh, After Effects uh, cache data files are mostly going to be uh, in the local section, whereas roaming is going to be for Premiere. So let's start with Premiere and let's go to roaming. Then let's go to uh, Adobe and then let's go down to common and then media cache here. You're going to select all with uh, control A or command A if you're on a Mac. Then go delete. Awesome. Then go to media cache files. They're both the same thing. They just, uh, one has a little bit more uh, data than the other. I find uh, different storage spaces. I don't actually know the uh, specific purposes for each. So I have uh, Premiere open, so that's why this last file is not actually uh, deleting properly. Awesome. So that's uh, for Premiere. Now let's go back to the local section so that we can get rid of uh, After Effects files. Uh, so yes, you go there, then you go to Adobe, then you, oh, I'm so sorry. No, no, that's not right. You go all the way down to uh, temp, but you have to, there you go, temp. Then you go all the way down past these uh, tilde open bracket uh, folders that they start with. And oh, right there. Uh, and then you go to Adobe. Then you go to uh, After Effects. So these are just two different versions of After Effects. Uh, you might have cache data in both, so it's worthwhile to go in, go to disk cache, and then all of these folders, you can just select all and delete. So we got a couple of gigs there worth of stuff. I've done this recently, so there's not gonna be too, too much that's uh, left over in there. Awesome. So now let's go back out here and let's go to the other version here of uh, After Effects and then we're gonna go in. Oh, and I've already cleaned it out recently. So you just do the same thing uh, and then you'll have, honestly, I've had up to 60 gigabytes of storage kind of like lifted just because of getting rid of all those cache files. Uh, now, just in case it's unclear, cache files are not integral to your computer in order to actually make these uh, these programs work. Uh, what they do is they're sort of like previews for the video files so that you, your computer can chug through them a little bit easier uh, and they'll have a little bit a uh, little bit less difficulty running through them. So yeah guys that's how you get rid of cache data on a PC. I'm gonna quickly show you that same process on a Mac so that uh, we've covered all the bases here. You're just gonna have your desktop open make sure that the uh, finder is available here. Uh, go up to the go uh, and then you're gonna click the option key and that's gonna open up the library option for us to click on. Uh, then you're going to go to application support. Then you're going to go to Adobe. And then you're going to go to common. Then media cache and media cache files. It's just the same thing. Just select all and move to trash. Then you're going to go back here, media cache files, select all, move to trash. Beautiful. And then guys, remember, once that's all said and done, for both Mac and PC, to go to your uh, recycling or trash bin and make sure just to empty it out. And that will actually uh, wipe it from your computer and make that space uh, available on your storage drives. So yeah, guys, that's uh, that's the video. Nice and quick. Uh, not too crazy interesting, but uh, if you guys like the video, uh, if you could give it a like and maybe consider subscribing, that'd be awesome. If you didn't like it, uh, let me know in the comments section down below. I'd love to know what you guys would like to see different. Uh, I'm trying to learn and grow and uh, get better at these YouTube tutorials, and I would love your input. So thanks so much for stopping by, and I uh, hope to see you next time.